Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the love uh, aspects of the zodiac relationships for the next few weeks coming ahead. So um, it's just going to be sort of general information that I'll get downloaded um, from Spirit etc where I'll pick up on certain uh, people uh, happenings in their life at this time so it's not going to be for everyone but hopefully as I say they're not uh, date specific these love readings so you might just click on and something that uh, comes in the message um, will be for you today so uh, we'll just um, take it as it comes and uh, like I say um, they're not going to resonate for everyone but uh, it's more about the relationship side of things these readings are so without further ado, I'm now going to be looking at the Taurian uh, influences that are coming up, guys, for you over the uh, next couple of weeks going into August. This covers obviously singles and couples, um, anything that's sort of coming in or going out that I pick up for you. So I'm just going to turn the cards over. I meditate on these before we start, as you know. Um, so I'll just start with this one for you. We've got the Wombat Spirit. And we also have the Hermit. Now I'm going to swap these around because I, I straight away as I've picked that up, I, I do feel drawn, Taurus, that you are the Hermit in this, on the um, relationship side of things. I'll just sit here a second and uh, take some information from these cards. Right, Taurus, as I say, um, I'm taking you as the Hermit here. Um, and the Wombat spirit is the... Um, females or males that are, are around you at this moment in time. Basically, the singleton Taurians, um, I do feel they are happy um, within their own space. They like to be in control of their own lives. Um, I'm picking up with some Taurians here um, who find it hard to commit um, in a relationship. So they are happy. To have a number of people who they have a laugh with, get on with. Yeah, they might have the odd kiss with and, and, and what have you, but they like to keep it um, on a friendly basis. Friends with benefits, basically. Um, this is the Taurine Singletons that I'm picking up here. Um, and I feel that, they, that they've that they gone through a, a um, solitude time at the moment. Um just reflecting really of what's gone on in the last couple of months because like I say you're you're quite this person who, who goes out with the lads and the, and the group of people that you know you have activities with and um I just feel that you know there's different people coming to this group it's like it's a uh, a group where it's aimed for people who aren't who are single and they they organize things like walks or going away in a group um scenario um and so these people you've known for quite some time in this group. And obviously, as the group expands and new people come in, then you, you make relationships with these people. Um, but like I say, you've done this. You've sort of like uh, for the last sort of 12 months where you've, uh, you know, gone on these activities. You've had a laugh with the, the boys or the girls concerned. Um, but you, you've got to this stage now, I think, in the middle of the year where you just need to reach. So to recharge, I'm just getting recharged now. You need to just keep it on a lot, even more lighter aspect to the fact that um, not even the friends with benefits this year, you just want to heal. I'm getting healed now. You, you've been out of sorts and I just feel some of my singleton Taurians need to um, stay at home a little bit more. There's jobs at home that need doing, you know, you're a bit of a part animal really, Taurus. Um, and, you know, you like to be out and you like to go on these social things, but it's saying you need to go beyond closed doors, take is um, address the issues that are going on at home. So that's what I'm picking up with the um, singletons. For those in relationships, I feel that... Uh, um, I just feel, again, on the partner side of things, there's one uh, side of the partnership where... You just feel, I'm getting depression now with the coupled ones. There's one side of the partners who have been in a bit of depressive state. And this is being influenced from other family members. I feel there's a um, 
something's gone on with a family member and I don't know why I'm picking up prison now. I'm just picking up um, courts, prison. And even though I say that, I think I think the actual prison and the courts and everything else is to do with your in-laws or your partner's family. But it's had such an impact on you because um, it's caused a bit of stress in the relationship because obviously they've had to be there supporting whatever's gone on uh, with their family who's, who's, who's uh, come across this prison sentence. And you've lived and breathed it. You've absolutely lived and breathed this scenario um, over the last couple of months. And it, it, it's just like, I need to close myself away. I need to, you know, it's, it's the sentences is going through. They're going to jail to serve, you know, six months or whatever for what they've done. Um, but you've lived and breathed it. You know, the stress of it all, that's that's had a knock-on effect. So, yeah, for, this, um, for the coupled already in a relationship, that's what I'm picking up there. Um, it's just made you silent, irritable. Um, oh, it's just, you've got to bottle things up because even though it's not your partner's fault, you've it's the family that, you know, she's been, or he's been sucked into all this trauma that's been going on with this jail connection, prison connection. So, yeah, um, for my little savant poetry then for the singletons, I've got you dance in the spotlight and get the attention, female or male company, you're never short, but um, you like your own freedom, your own space to breathe, reluctant to commit is the long and the short. So as I was going back to the singletons, yeah, you, you know, you go out, you enjoy yourself, you know, friends with benefits, blah, 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 but I just feel that's gone on now for a few months and and you need to start looking at things that are happening inside the house, getting things in order, even DIY in your own house. You know, you've partied that much, been in the spotlight that much, um, you know, that it's just saying, whoa, hang on a minute, I need to shut the door on this lot now. I'm, I'm wore out a little bit being the party animal as well. So that's for the Torians who are on the singleton side. So the poem I've got for the couples one is Too Many Silent Pauses, Irritable Tetchy. Just leave me alone. That's all I need to say. No more words than that would come out for the Savant poem. For that, it's just the emphasis of just leave me alone. But you're not saying it out loud. It's just in your head because of all this stuff that's been going on on your partner's side um, with this issue with uh, someone uh, with the courts and, and this prison. There's an attachment with a prison for some reason to do with your partner's side but you know it's just whew, I've, I've I've lived and breathed this now but you know um I just feel that's gonna come to you know you're gonna get to a better place at the end of August guys on this with the couples uh on that aspect so yeah I hope somebody uh, you know resonates with that today listening to this it's not going to be there for everybody these aren't dates specific, uh, specific as I've said if you uh, click on this then hopefully you know even two or three months there's a hidden message here um, a snippet of information that uh, you know may just call out to you so yeah guys have a great next couple of weeks going into August and I'll see you next time take care then bye <laughs>